What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Off-Road Outlaws and what I'm going to do today is show you guys my Ford Mustang Boss Mega Mud Truck. I was going to call it a monster truck but let's call it what it is, a Mega Mud Truck. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the build for this. We're also going to fully finish the build with uh, some, uh, you know, some little tunings going on because I have everything else fully upgraded as you can tell. Diesel swap. A uh, few little, you know, minor, like, visual upgrades, you know. Nothing, nothing too crazy on that one. Of course, monster suspension front and back. Axle width, 0.7 all the way on axle width in the front. Damping at 3,600. Shock size at 1.0. Stiffness at 15,000. Travel at 1.1. For the rear, we have an axle width of 0.7. Damping at uh, 3,600. Shock size at 1.0. Stiffness at 15,000. Travel at 1.1. And we don't have any rear steer currently. Pretty basic setup on it. Uh, tires, I left the rim size alone. I jacked up the wheel radius if it'll ever click it. Uh, <laughs> and the wheel width, I of course went up to 2.3 on for both front and rear is exactly the same. Come on over here to the uh, gear tunings we got going on. We're going to actually tune them up. First gear, we'll give it a little bit more power up to 3.5. Second gear, we're going to bring it up to a 1.7. Third gear, going to bring it up to 1.2. Fourth gear, just up to 0.9. And fifth gear, we're only going to bring up 1 to 0.7. Low gear, we're going to bring it all the way up. And give us all the power in low gear. And uh, we're going to tune it on the dyno. We're going to buy a perfect setup for it. It's going to give it all the power it can possibly get. Of course, uh, with high graphics on, there's still this like weird uh, skipping that goes on, so I might have to turn that back down to medium graphics. It doesn't seem to happen on medium graphics. It seems to only happen on high graphics, even though, like, legitimately, um, let that actually read what it's doing there. See, like, we're running pretty decently on, you know, what we're utilizing here. I got an SSD that should be in here today. Uh, so like the disk space will be good, but you know overall like it's you know it runs fine So there's no real reason why it should have any issues uh, It's just kind of like blue stacks I think or it's just the game wise, but there has been updates to uh, better increase the performance of the game it just seems like blue stacks and high graphics on here don't seem to mix but we do have 1410 horsepower 2373 max torque Average is 1,300 on the torque, and average is 1,100 horsepower. Pretty decent setup for a mega mud truck here. And, uh, yeah, now we'll go test it out. Actually take it out and about. That always happens there. Okay. Now we'll go to our uh, tuning, or not tunings. I'm going to change these graphics very high drop it to the super low graphics that I don't know how anybody ever works with <laughs> up to medium where it's pretty decent it just seems like this stuff's kind of like blurred out a little bit um, and we're gonna see if blue stacks is gonna freak out doing that again real quick before we go take it out because I'm pretty sure it just has something to do with the high graphics uh, yeah, no, that seems fine. It doesn't seem to be going all cuckoo. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It is. It's still doing it a little bit. So it's just something with blue stacks, I think. I have literally spent like two hours trying to get blue stacks working in the first place. Because once I overclocked the PC, it started being like, it tried to say virtualization wasn't enabled. So I enabled Hyper V, downloaded like the Hyper V version, and tried that. And then it was like having some like more major issues. Like it was doing some really crazy shit. But nonetheless, we'll just go ahead on out there. Yeah, we'll turn post effects off. Post effects aren't really a needed thing. Oops. 
I don't want no stinking sound. All right, and we're gonna just take it out to the desert. I feel it'll be a good place to kind of show off the Mega Mud Truck. And of course, I'm gonna have to reset up my controls. So, uh, you know, <laughs> you can skip ahead if you want to. Um, but I'm gonna set these up. It probably looks a little weird to you guys at the moment. Yeah. <coughs> But I need to set these up real quick. It doesn't take long to do. This will help anybody that uh, plays blue stacks and uh, doesn't really know how to set up their controls. It's really easy. Like, honestly, it's like really, really easy. Change this to pause. Camera. There we go. Reset. Lights, do the map, do that, do that, I'll do that, there, there, and there. B for that, and Y for repair. Oops. Y for repair. There we go. And then you just save it, and then you got your controls all set up. Just for anybody wondering on how to actually do that. Oops. Not me to hit that one. I wanted to hit this one. We're going to bring these down. Bring the opacity down so it doesn't really, like, you know, show too much for you guys. And now we can kind of be off driving around now. All right, now as you can see, this little mega mud truck here just fucking guns it, man. Like, it's got all the power it needs now. Ooh, there's a box. Oh, it's a part for my other Mustang. The one that I got back. Uh, if you guys watched my last video, uh, I actually, like, I found out that the truck that I had actually, or the Mustang that I had sold back before they made it to where you can't sell barn finds, uh, actually came back to me, which is pretty cool, honestly, in my opinion. Um, so, you know, if you, you had ever sold one of your barn vines like I did and had no way of getting it back, well, your way to get it back is just updating your game and kind of just waiting for it to show up, I guess. Urgh. Put the rear diffs on. Woo! Oh yeah. Oh. Hey, bro. Yeah, Blue Stack seems to be running so much smooth. Like, I mean, it was running smooth before on the PC, but it seems to be running a lot smoother now, though. Um, just seems like in the menus, it seems to hang up a little bit sometimes, which not 100% sure why. Woo! Let's fix this camera here. Hold on. Free camera. There we go. Nice long camera view on here. Woo! Look at all that suspension travel. We got all the travel we ever need with this monster truck. Definitely a nice little build to just kind of have some fun with and floor it around. Oh, God. Woo! I know somebody, <laughs> somebody that knows, like, somebody's, I, I don't know, I don't really know if they need to know anything to do it, but somebody's going to comment and they're going to be like, well, you should make that for SnowRunner. I don't know. Like, I honestly might make a Mustang boss for SnowRunner or a Fastback for SnowRunner, but uh, I don't think it's going to be a mega truck. I think I'm going to do, like, some stackish. Like, I want to do a car. And I want to do a car that's pretty stock, you know. Woo! Hey, whoa. That was not the way I intended that. That'll work. I kind of want to do, like, some kind of stock muscle car for uh, SnowRunner. I, I don't know if I'll... I might just do my Monte Carlo, to be honest. Like, set up my Monte Carlo donk. But set it up, like, 
in the snow runner with two versions one that's stock and just kind of like solid axle swap just for off-roading and uh you know then the donk version <laughs> and make the donk version badass Woo. oh hey whoa well, there we go only thing i have to do is uh because i do want like the upchurch paint that don made like i want uh, I'm pretty sure he's still for like helping out paints and stuff. I just have to do the 4k version it, Like the body paint anyways, I have to redo the body at least in mud runner and put it in game for him to like be able to paint and stuff Because he can't really play snow runner at the moment uh, You know, which I, I kind of feel bad for him, but like I can't really help him out Like I was barely able to get helped out, you know for like my PC wise like, luckily, Josh had this one sitting under his desk, not doing nothing with it. So, you know, it's just a simple deal to get me a new PC. But, you know, hopefully, Don will be able to get something soon at some point uh, and be able to come play with us on SnowRunner. It'd be pretty awesome to, like, just paint jobs and shit from Don painted up in SnowRunner and not just, like, painted up in MudRunner and pulled over. Like, it'd be pretty cool. Because I'm also going to bring over the Lacey Blair Escalade. Um, and I'll probably bring it over without CVC axles, see how well it works in SnowRunner, and, uh, just have some fun with it, you know? It'd be pretty cool, I think, to have Lacey Blair's Escalade thrown into SnowRunner. But, of course, that will not be a, uh, public mod. It won't even be one available to buy. That'll be just private as fuck. Mm. Cause it's private as fuck even on mud runner like the solid axle swap lacy blair escalade is the one that people can buy for mud runner but not uh not anymore and i realize i'm talking a lot about snow runner and mud runner while i'm playing off-road outlaws but <laughs> there's not really a lot of like off-road outlaws wise news to be talking about you know like i might do a stream uh soon and actually like you know play a few rounds with you guys like a few off-roading sessions or something I just haven't really wanted to stream Off-Road Outlaws. I really just kind of prefer to stream and play games that use a controller. And Off-Road Outlaws, I, I just never set up X-Patter to use a controller on it. I should. Then I might just sit here and play Off-Road Outlaws a lot more. Woo! It's not there. Where is it at? Come on. Oh, you know what? You know what? Reset. Real quick. Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to be too close to over there. Oh, there it is. Roll over. Come on, flip it. Oh, 30 seconds. 28, 27. Come on, come on. Get moving, car. We only got a little bit of time to click on this box here. Erk. There we go. Got 70 times three. Woo! Bunch of free stuffs. I love getting those, like, timed boxes. Like, it kind of makes your heart pump a little bit. Like, I want this. I should try Woodlands. I don't... They, I never saw anything in the change notes about them adding at, back the boxes into Woodlands. But I wonder if they kind of snuck that in there or not. Like, maybe somebody then... Uh, has you know tried that out can comment down below and let me know because we're already almost 15 minutes on this video and uh, I don't want to make this video too long for you guys but if anybody's actually tried out on woodlands uh, and found any boxes since these latest updates uh, let me know because I would really love to know if they actually fixed the box spawns on woodlands um, if they did I can actually do you know uh, a good little video showing you guys some locations and stuff but I'll have to check that on my own but in the meantime let me know down below if you guys have you know gotten any in offer or in the in woodlands let me know what you guys also think of the video of this build hopefully you guys uh you know have some fun with this build of your own it's a pretty fun little you know monster truck build not gonna do some super crazy stuff but for what it can do it uh, actually has good little bit of potential here and of course mud truck you know mud wise like it's pretty badass so you know definitely a cool little build that you guys can create in on your own if you want to hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next one